Hello and welcome everyone, this is Nesmoji. Thank you so much for joining. In this video, we're bringing you eight more gourmet recipes that you may not know exist in Tears of the Kingdom. So sit back, relax, and enjoy, because here we go. First recipe is simple, cheesy tomato. Using two ingredients that were not available in Breath of the Wild by just using Hatino cheese and Hylian tomatoes. Throwing those in the pot will get you this sumptuous little hors d'oeuvre. All right, and coming up next is another ingredient that uses that delicious Hatino cheese, cheesy baked fish. This is a versatile ingredient uh, recipe because you can use different kinds of fish that add to Link's stats. So here I'm gonna be using a Mighty Porgy. So with the Hatino cheese, Mighty Porgy, that's all you need. Very simple recipe. And there we go, cheesy baked fish. All right, next on our list is a recipe that can also be made in Breath of the Wild as well as Tears of the Kingdom, and that's monster cake. To make this recipe, you just need a few simple ingredients as well as monster extracts, so make sure you have some of those on hand if you want to make this. Just combine goat butter, tabantha wheat, one monster extract, and cane sugar. Those four ingredients are all you need to create this cake. Just throw those in the cooking pot, and there you go. Too bad, though, that it only restores one quarter of one heart. But still, kind of fun to make. And speaking of monster dishes, let's make another one. Monster soup. This dish, if you make just the monster soup version, will also only restore one quarter of one heart. So let's add some wheat, goat butter, fresh milk, and monster extract. But if you add an additional ingredient, like the blue nightshade, this dish will actually restore a lot more hearts than just one quarter of one. See here we have Sneaky Monster Soup, which restores six hearts and adds a buff to Link's stats. And if you've been wondering what to do with those dark clumps that drop from Gloom Spawn and from Phantom Ganon, this is what you can do with them. You can make Warding Dark Stew. By adding a Hyrule Bass and meat, I'm going to use some prime meat here. Raw prime meat and a dark clump. These three items, throw those in the pot and you will create Warding Dark Stew. There it is, restores five hearts and gives you gloom resistance as well. It's time to make another hors d'oeuvre. This time it's going to be cheesy risotto. What you're going to need for this is high roll bass, Hatino cheese, Also, Hylian rice and rock salt. Throw those four ingredients in, let them simmer, and you will get cheesy risotto. Restore six hearts, not bad. Now this is a useful dish to make, especially if you like seafood, if you like salmon. This is hearty salmon menoir. All you need is hearty salmon, and you need some goat butter and tabantha wheat. By adding these three ingredients, you get hearty salmon menoir. And I don't speak French, so I apologize if I said that wrong, but it still is full recovery plus four temporary hearts. For this recipe, you'll definitely put on your gourmet chef's hat. We're going to make snail chowder. This is a recipe I wouldn't try because I'm not a fan of escargot, but by adding a sneaky river snail and fresh milk, goat butter, and tabantha wheat, those four ingredients together, combined and cooked, will produce the snail chowder. Not bad heart recovery as well as a stat buff. Thank you all so much for watching. If you'd like to see more gourmet recipes in Tears of the Kingdom that you may not know exist, click on the video on the top left. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.